this is what you get for what 30 bucks you can get this for 30 bucks can you imagine if you are just starting out this is an absolutely must have yeah today i will be showing you some of the best budget guns you can get some ground rules i'm gonna assess the guns i show you on reloadability practicality on the airsoft field and just some general experience with the gun itself i'm gonna rate these guns out of five so let me begin with my absolute just favorite this is a hfc glock it's made fully out of abs plastic it's a spring gun that is incredibly realistic for what it needs to be this was one of the first guns i have ever bought and honestly it was one of the best ones in a way this gun really represents my channel because of how popular it is the insertion and the detachment of the magazine is actually very very nice and smooth it's got a metal thing inside that it then gives it some weight and this gun has a working slide and a slide lock at that well, you don't really see that on many guns now this puppy is ready to shoot that's the sound it makes for this one I'd give it a 4 out of 5 and I'm gonna have to give it a 1 on the actual practicality side because you do not want to be using a spring gun on an airsoft field unless it's a sniper rifle or something with a little bit more power. Also check out the sight, that's not factory. I drew them on when I was 13. <laughs> now number 2 is a relatively recent acquisition. I bought this gun for this CS2 reloads video. I'm not entirely happy with this. I feel like if I paid 5 more pounds I would have gotten a better version of this from HFC. This is not HFC, but I did not have a lot of budget to work with. Hence why this is here now. <laughs> so with this we don't have a working slide lock. We have all the operations of a... That's unfortunate. We have all the operations of a normal pistol. We even got the HK mag release, which is like a little paddle thing, which I really hate. The slide is a little hard to cog back all the way, a little harder than usually any other spring guns. Shoot test. Doesn't sound too terrible. Sounds different without the suppressor. Ever so slightly different, but not much. Another cool thing of this gun is that every time you press this trigger, the hammer actually moves back. And you can cock it back manually and release it manually also. For which I do kind of like this replica, but that's unfortunately as far as it goes. It's probably the biggest pistol out of all of my pistols in my collection. I mean, let me take this. Very similar in size. And I feel like they shouldn't be. The fact that it's made out of plastic kind of brings it down. Another thing I dislike is the stiff slide and no slide lock. So this actually gets a 2 out of me. And practicality wise this gets a 1. It's, I mean it's the same. Though maybe a 1.1 because it sounds nice. I'll tell you what doesn't sound nice when you shoot it. Those things. I bought two of them for the CS2 video. But they're the cheapest Beretta Springers I could have. As you can see they were made in Shuang Wei. Not entirely sure if that's even real. But it's made out of horrific plastic and some very terrible metal parts. Let's hear this. It's not amazing. It feels like one of those very very cheap toys that you get at like a carnival or something. The mag is okay, it's got a bit of weight to it. Slide does work, but it's got a very very stiff spring and there's a lot of friction in the slide movement, which I really dislike. And there is no slide lock because it's so cheap. No cockable hammer either. If there was a definition for a springer, it would be this. One for reloading, zero for practicality, because I'm mean. This is another HFC, this time it's a P226, it's got the mag release, it's even got a decock, which is insane, has a working slide lock, and even a safety, which I don't really know how it works. That's what it sounds like. And a working hammer too, look at that. And you can cock it manually, obviously. Tempted to give this a 4.5 out of 5. And for airsoft practicality, you could probably take this to a field. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Now, I really want to show you these two guns. These are my absolute favorites. My absolute puppies. My children. My most noble horsemen of the apocalypse. Starting with this. I do not remember the brand of this. My granddad gifted it to me in 2020 for Christmas. Quite funny because we are actually leading up to Christmas now. And I'm quite surprised that this gun has held up all these years because I have not been treating it like a model piece at all. <laughs> but this is an M16 replica. It has a movable stock, working fire selector, obviously trigger, mag release, quite accurate to the real thing, and a charging handle. We've all seen it. It's an exceptional little gun. It feels great in hands. It is made entirely out of plastic, unfortunately, but this is what you get for, what, 30 bucks? You can get this for 30 bucks. Can you imagine? It does look very cool. And doesn't sound too terrible either. If 
you can fire it in like a backyard. I mean, that's what guns do, right? But I find it cool when guns actually work. I have some that don't work. By some, I mean this, which is completely empty inside. Give it a zero on the practicality, because you would not want to be using this on an airsoft shield at any point in ever. If you're running a sidearm, okay, use like a Springer if you don't have the money, but not as a primary, Springer as a primary, only if it's a sniper rifle. This AK comes from the kind of same range of uh, pricing. I think it was a bit more expensive, but this is all plastic also, basically. It feels really good to hold in hands regardless. The magazine operation is very realistic, as realistic as it gets on an AK. The magazine is fully plastic, so you don't really get that much weight out of it. However, it still feels great to, to hold. Charging handle leaves a little bit to be desired. It's very stiff and the travel is very short but it does leave a little bit to be desired in that full range of travel which you actually will probably never see in a Springer gun ever so so take what you can take boy let's give it a firing test it does not feel amazing it feels like the whole gun just explodes yeah pretty cool same rating as the m16 now if we're talking actually usable pistols i think i have something for you this is my we glock 17 which is a gen 4 i believe i've put this thing on it don't worry about it it's a, just a, i like it that way <laughs> It's a lovely, lovely little piece. It is very much optimized for airsoft. I've done a review of this gun a while back and it has never betrayed me. It's been consistent and loaded, apparently. Always just a delight to shoot because it does actually shoot when you want it to. It has a metal slide and a polymer grip. But if I was to get a Glock replica of some sort, I would be getting a WE replica. Let's test fire it. Yeah, I take this to airsoft fields, it's incredibly practical as a secondary, and it feels amazing to reload. So you get to 5 out of 5 on all scales! Oh my god, winner, winner! For about a hundred pounds you could get this, or you could also get this. This is the FAMI. This is a Cybergun FAMOS. I got mine for very nice and cheap because they're very old. This is probably the best FAMOS AEG you can have on the market. It's made fully out of polymer that is incredibly durable this is because it doesn't wobble anywhere if i try to it's got the perfect weight distribution and balance the magazines are very nice to remove and to put back in man those things have been on the market for ages and i i can only imagine how much field time this thing has seen before it got to me it has a working charging handle that doesn't do anything it's just a mock and it even has a deployable bipod man how cool is that it actually works i tried it it's very very convenient Airsoft performance wise, this thing is kind of crazy. It has an adjustable spring, so you can adjust the strength of your spring, therefore adjusting your FPS. And with this particular one, I've seen it fire at about 410 FPS maximum, 1.25 BBs, kind of insane. And it even has a MOSFET, which apparently it's its biggest flaw as well, because mine doesn't actually work. <laughs> it only goes single fire or full auto. Nothing super exciting, it's an AG. For reloadability, the FAMI gets 5 out of 5 and 4 out of 5 for airsoft practicality because the MOSFET is not super reliable. There are a few stars that need to align for it to actually work properly. But regardless, it's probably one of my favorite guns. Is there a gun that you are using that you think you got for a great deal? Tell me everything about it. 